What's good, slimes? Ace Dragon's back. Today I'll be discussing the um, the noted aromas clone of Tom Ford Grey Vetiver. Now this is decent. Um, in a con in a direct comparison, I'll give it a five out of ten. If someone was to wear um, this dupe inspired by a clone and walk past me, my first thought would be, oh, they're wearing Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. Um, that might be enough for you to buy this. Um, like I said, it's decent. I'll give it a 5 out of 10 in comparison to this. Obviously, the original Tom Ford is more in-depth. It's longer lasting. It's most richer. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. This is just a bit more airy in the opening to the dry down. It's more fresh in that sense. But to me, it smells like it's just missing a lot of key components of Tom Ford. Um, Grey Forever. It doesn't. It's not as masculine as um, Tom Ford's Grey Forever. Like I said, it's more airy, giving it. It does give it more versatility, but it's more subtle, and it's you know I can just tell there's missing elements to it. But like I said, if you were to buy this and walk past me, my first thought would be you would be wearing Tom Ford's Grey Forever. Um, to put it short, I'll give it a five out of ten in comparison to the original which is a lot better than one of their other offerings. But yeah, like I said, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm just a guy re reviewing fragrances on YouTube. Um, Yeah, so like I said, this is a kind of 5 out of 10 in comparison. It's definitely missing some parts to it, but it is noticeable that it is kind of mimicking Tom Ford's Grave Vetiver. All right, guys, take care. Bye.